VHBio students, this is Mr. Wolf, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the Pasco Spark View data recording app that you can find on your Chromebook. Once you've installed the Chromebook app, you need to go to the build part to build your data collection page for this lab. By clicking on this plus icon here, you'll be able to build your page. I always recommend using the two field template to record data for this photosynthesis lab. After clicking on this template, on the bigger section of the data field, make this your line graph. And the smaller section can be just numerical output. Don't forget to select the measurement you'll be taking during the lab, which in your lab will show up as a carbon dioxide concentration sensor here. You need to select this both for the digital readout and for the data that will be graphed during the lab. We also need to set how often the CO2 sensor will be taking recordings from this lab. To do that, go down to the sampling options under this icon and change this down to 2 to 5 seconds. I recommend 5 seconds. You're going to also want to change the automatic stop condition. Since we're running this lab for 10 minutes, if you set this for a stop after duration of 10, and don't forget to change it to minutes, your sensor will stop reading data after 10 minutes. Click OK, and you're ready to start your lab. Don't forget to let the CO2 sensor get used to the light conditions for 60 seconds before you hit this play button. Now after your 10 minutes are up, you'll see data on this graph. To read that data, you'll want to select this tool right here. This is called the coordinate tool. This will allow you to toggle up and down your graph to read data after every minute. This is what you'll be recording in your data table in your lab document. Once you've finished recording data, you're going to want to save this to your Google Drive. To do that, click this icon here and click Save Spark Lab. You're going to want to save this to your Google Drive. I recommend titling the lab, but be careful not to change this SPK Lab ending to this file name. This is what's read by the SparkView app. Once you have saved your file to your Google Drive, you'll be able to open this lab up again and record new data the next time we run the lab. So that's the SparkView app. If you have any questions on how this app works, feel free to rewind this video and watch those sections again. Thanks for watching.